chill? Do I look chill? Um, the light. But how can you be chill? Yeah, Alright everybody, I hope you're feeling extra comfy and cozy here for this one. Because we're about to take a small little taste on quite a bit of a chill little adventure here in Coffee Talk Episode 2. Now, this is only a demo, which is why it's only going to be a small taste, but I hope you got something very nice and warm next to you. This game, as I understand, is essentially what, um, well, think of it as Valhalla. Just, uh, instead of alcoholic drinks, it's going to be a coffee shop. It also happens to be made by Togi Productions, which are one of my favorite developers and publishers. You might know them from games such as the Infectinator and Necronator series, and also publishing such bangers as My Lovely Daughter, and soon, My Lovely Wife. So I'm just a big fan of them altogether. This is also one of their projects. I never played the first one, and I just never got around to it. I'm disappointed I did not, because I loved Valhalla. And based on the trailers I've seen of this, it just looks like such a cozy, super chill, laid-back experience. So, sometime in 2023. So we're skipping an entire year ahead. Apparently 2022 has uh, started off in such a bad note, we're just skipping it all together. The Evening Whispers, September 13, 2023. A couple of weeks away from your boy's birthday. Massive job loss as large companies move out of state. What's next? Seattle West Precinct Police is losing a record number of officers in January. Social experiments skirting between entertainment and menace. A couple of topics for us to have in mind here. Oh, that looks so, so freaking comfy out there. Look at that. Pixel art style with the rain in the background. Awesome, awesome chill tunes. Officer Georgie. Hey, it's a familiar name. Welcome. Good evening, Falcon. What's crack? Uh, aside from the thunder outside, that is. Uh, I'd say the power lines. Probably. Yeah? What about them? Yeah. That's what I meant, Georgie. That's a concern. Well, the power kept going in and out all night. Our machines couldn't even heat up properly. Not bad, huh? Sorry. I'll take your order as soon as the machines are ready. No problem. Well, I guess our resident writer, Miss Green-Haired Fairy, isn't here tonight. Oh, you mean Freya? The one and only. Unless she's changed her hair color. Then my bad. <laughs> no, it's it's still the same. Uh, she won't be coming around for a while, I think. Oh, why? Uh, she's currently in a research trip for her new book. That's so. Yeah, at least that's what you told me. That's too bad. Uh, the evenings won't be the same without her. <laughs> no kidding. I admit, it's been pretty quiet around here. But it's good for her to escape the city once in a while. To wrap some time to herself. Yeah. Not looking too good, huh? Yeah. But I've already notified the City Lights Department. They said they'll monitor the area just in case. Don't worry, Falcon. If anything happens, I'll lend you my trusty light. Your lighter? Uh-huh. Got it from my grandfather. Oh, lucky job of sorts. Never failed us in a pinch, not even once. Uh, unless you needed to light up for longer than ten seconds. <laughs> then you're on your own. That's a thought that counts. Don't cops usually carry on flashlights anyway? Oh, we do. But we're thrilled that. Eh, sounds like you need a vacation too. Do I ever? Hopefully not too soon, because apparently a bunch of you guys are getting laid off in January. Oh goodness, finally. Eh, thanks for waiting. I can take your order now. Great. I'm already done for the day, so... No more coffee for me. Oh, no midnight patrol then. Just for tonight. Roger then. Well, in that case, uh, would you like to try one of our new tea selections instead? We have hibiscus and blue pea available. 
A pisk is in what? Uh, blue pea? It's actually butterfly pea, but we call it blue pea for short. The color is really pretty. Huh. I had no idea you offer alternative stuff, Falcon. No judgment here, just saying. Alternative what? No, not not that no, not that it's not urine, you you sickle. It's pee. As in pea pods? Oh not whatever else you thought it was. <laughs> Got it, whoops. Sure, I'll give it a shot. Still remember my golden rule? Don't you mean your golden shower, you sickle? Uh, of course. No dairy for Officer Georgie. Alright, now we get to our making here. Let's see what we got here, though. We got brew pad. I think this will dictate our drinks, right? So this is what we know how to make already the coffee lattes. See, I've talked about this eh, occasionally here and there. I used to be a barista myself, but nothing like this comfy, right? It was like Starbucks. So it was like, you no, know, this constant rush hour. There was no like sit back and talk to customers. It was like, what's your order? Oh, you want a Frappuccino, don't you? Of course you do. Why would you not want a Frappuccino? It's all you people over order. All right. Um, blue pea or hibiscus. So, our boy is lactose intolerant. I can kind of relate, my friend. I'm not exactly full blown on, but there's a certain amount of milk beyond a point that does make me sick. So, I could do it some, but I can't go over it. Especially at nighttime. Oof. <laughs> and again, we could toss a little bit of cinnamon there to change the stats on it. But I'm not sure if Georgie seems like the guy that you want to be adding cinnamon to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, what is this? Let's keep it simple. All right, here you go. Wow. Is this stuff really sent to drink? What's with the color? I assure you it's completely edible. Yeah, yeah, I'm just playing with you, Falcon. <laughs> What's that look? It's surprisingly mild, huh? Oh, mild. Yeah, hey, it could be a good thing. Maybe it's into more of the mild type of coffee. Well, yeah, he's, he drinks coffee. It's like and telling it he is. So it could be more into like the smoother type of coffees, not with too much bite. But if it's too mild, I guess next time we could also add a little bit of cinnamon. Uh, usually people put lemon in it. It changes the color too. Really? Yep. Unfortunately, I'm out of lemons. Didn't have enough time to get any from the store. No, it's fine. I remember my youngest showed a video of something like that. You know, she's really into new agey health stuff. I remember she made me a drink from blue algae or something. To lower my cholesterol, she said. The problem was... No, oh, it tasted like dirt. I still drank all of it, though. Eh, nice of her to think of her dad's health. Yeah, yeah, she's swell. Between you and me, though, I'll stick with coffee. But this one, I don't mind it at all. Maybe I'll ask her about it later. Thanks. You're very welcome. Oh, what a storm. You got somewhere to be? Nah, I'm supposed to be home by now. My youngest just finished all of her remedios. Remedios? Yeah. We found out for a reason or another she's been neglecting her studies. So let's just say I had a few things to say about that. How'd it go? It was a disaster. Oof. But she pulled through in the end, right? Yep. Except we haven't spoken to each other for over a month now. So I'm sorry to hear that. Anyway, the missus plan to celebrate a little tonight. Making all the kids favorite dishes, having her sisters over for dinner and all that. So I'm um, buying the dessert pies as an olive branch of sorts. Sounds like a good plan. But as you can see, I got no pies and I'm nowhere near home. Because of the storm? That and my car is busted. My tires have had all their value, their valve cards removed. What? How come? Just so happens my car is the latest victim of vandalism spree. It's a whole nother thing going on. But rest easy, we're on it. For now, I need to find a way to get home fast. You can't just drop that sort of fact and expect me not to have no questions. Who is this? Bye, Zeus. What a disaster. Welcome. Hey, what's shaking? Evening, Pops. Hey, what's up? 
Thunderstorms, obviously. Touche. Gods, isn't the weather just awful? Yeah, it's like someone up there doesn't care about the water bill or something. Oh, but I'm glad you opened, though. Oh, that was going be super soaked by now. Uh, happy you made it in time. Would you like anything to drink? Something to warm you up? Ah, that'd be great, yeah. Oh, I'm Lucas, by the way. And you are? Uh, my name's Falcon. And the gentleman over there is um, Officer Georgie. Awesome. Nice to meet you, Pops. Can I call you Pops? Bye bye, me. Sweet. Well, Georgie seemed to be blowing up there. Could be the family. Oh, Mrs. Calls. <laughs> ah. Alright, be back. Wish me luck. Good luck. See ya. Alright, Lucas, what about you? So. Can I get a latte? Sure thing. Oh, maybe not. Yeah? You know what? I'm not sure. <laughs> you tell me, you're the bro. Um. Okay, okay, hear me out. You see, I like coffee. Heck, I love espresso. At some point, my stomach turned against me and decided to just hate it. Like, really hate it. Know what I mean? Right. Anyway, milk helps take the edge off. That's why I've been ordering lattes and the like. But I still just miss coffee, you know? That's why I'm wondering if you can suggest me something. What was it about coffee that you missed? Caffeine, of course. And just the overall boldness. You know what I mean? Am I making sense? Have you ever tried a matcha? Nope. But uh, isn't that just green tea? Yeah, but it's much more concentrated. Would you like to give it a try? Sure. And one matcha for me, please. So, that would be this bad boy right here, if I'm correct. Because I think what he's looking for is going to be like a green tea latte. So, let's see how this goes here for our boy. We could have also maybe gotten green tea, green tea, and milk. Maybe just a little bit? Latte art. Oh, you can do this yourself? <laughs> you, you, don't, you don't ever, ever want me drawing anything for you. But well, that's a pretty cool little addition right there. Alright, thank you for waiting. Thanks. Well, don't mind if I do. What do you think? Not bad. When you said concentrated, I expected it to taste bolder. It's the latte version, so maybe that's why it's mild. Okay. I mean, it's not bad. Oh well, thanks anyway. So, has anyone ever come here? Oh, what do you mean? I was trying to pin this coffee shop on my post, right? But there's like, no trace of your place anywhere. No tags, no mentions, nothing. What's up with that? Well... <laughs> Apparently, we just don't exist. Oh, uh, maybe our crowd isn't as big as your usual coffee shop since we open quite late. That makes sense. What time do you guys close anyway? Uh, we're open until morning. For real? Pretty acting late. Do you turn into a secret buy after like 2 a.m. or something? If we did, Officer Georgie over there would have a few things to say about that. What? Nah, that's no fun. Are you guys on social media at all? Not the coffee shop itself, no. A late night coffee shop that nobody talks about, huh? Interesting. But hey, that means I can just stay until the song's over, right? Of course. Stay as long as you like. Say thanks. I can give you a shout out on my stories if you want. Your stories? Yep. Here, let me show you. I mean, apparently the barista here in this game is as much a boomer as I am. W what do you mean, stories? Oh, lordy. Welcome back, Pops. Oh, thanks. Everything all right? No, oh, kind of. The missus is not happy. Oh, maybe I should try calling the cabs. What do you think? I'd save my minutes if I were you, Pops. Not good, huh? I've been calling him for a while. I was still on the lookout earlier. One and a half hours later, here I am. There were no cabs around my station either. Did you try ordering them online, Pops? 
Did you not see my phone? It's got that old school flipper. Only order I can do is gnome noms from around the corner of my house. <laughs> Touche. Well, on the bright side, our power seems to be stable for now. Oh, well. I retract my statement. <laughs> uh, for what it's worth, they held out much longer than I expected. You're right. Want to borrow my lighter than Falcon? A uh, tempting offer, but no thank you. I'm going to go check on something, though, so I'll be right back. Sure. Good luck. All right. Hey, you all right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Everything's peachy. I just... <laughs> I just don't like being in the dark too much. What, are you scared of the dark, kid? <laughs> you never know who might jump out at you. But we're in the room. Uh, still. Don't you feel scared at all, Pops? Of course not. I do night patrols all the time. If I can cuff them, I can handle them. In theory. <laughs> I don't know how you feel. I don't know how to feel about that at all. Huh. Did you, did you hear something? What? Oh, I swear I heard something just now. Holy fu- Whoa! Uh... uh hi? I'm back. Sorry about that, everything should be good for now. Oh, great! Oh, welcome. Can I make my order? Of course. What do you have? Although our arsenal is limited at the moment, we still have all the usual fare. Coffee, tea, and herbal drinks. I like something soothing for my throat. And my mind. Does that work? If you have no particular drink in mind, mind if I suggest trying our new blee, blue pea latte? Blue pea latte? Hmm. Did you make it pretty? Nope. So let's go with just the butterfly pea and then we'll go with milk milk. That should be it. Now for the drawing, well that... Can't really promise you too much there. Let's see what we got. Latte art. This is gonna go terrible. So the best I can do is the, the old falcon special here, which I'll put some milk like so. But you know what? No, how, how predictable falcon is. I know what you're saying, but what he's gonna do. We're gonna etch it and give it a little bit of air of mystery to it. It's gonna be a very ambiguous 6 9 you know? As a matter of fact, it's got a nice little air of mystery to it. Something like this. Oh yeah, that's good. That's perfect. No idea what it is? Good. That's that's the point. We don't want her to know what it is, but deep down inside, we will know what it is. Thank you for waiting. Here you go. It's blue? Yeah, but rest assured, it's all natural. I see. It's pretty. Yeah, see, it's fine. Hmm. How do you like it? It's good. Thank you. You're very welcome. Is the power okay now? Yeah, the city department is making sure of it. Awesome. Now we can just wait until the storm's over. Well, about that. The news that the storm will go on into midnight at the very least. What? Oh, would be nice if I had my car. Ah, uh, there's several road closures due to flooding also. Well, darn. It's basically saying we're stuck. Afraid so. At least for a little while. Oh, I'm in such deep trouble. What's wrong with your car, Pops? Yeah, you didn't finish uh, explaining it earlier. I have questions. <laughs> I just didn't want to alarm you, Falcon. His tires got flattened. For real? Yep. This is vandalism going around recently. Someone keeps removing the valve caps from pod cars around the West Precinct area. Huh. Why? Yeah, maybe someone's a collector. Oh, got too much time on their hands, no clue yet. Anyhow, our station lot was getting repaved. So a few of us had to park outside today. Well, you know the rest. Did everyone's cog? 
Got hat too, Pops? Nope. Just mine. Oh. That's so weird. You're so chill about it. Yeah. Uh, maybe because there's no real damage other than my time. My colleagues aren't so cool about it, though. The recent massacre's resignation sort of left us in a bind. We're pretty understaffed right now, which means tensions are pretty high all around. That doesn't sound good. Don't I know it. Anyway, we caught the culprit on CCTV, so I've been looking into it so tomorrow. Just hoping it won't get any crazier in this meantime. Could it, could it just be a prank, Pops? You think so? Yeah. Uh, but what's going on lately, the suspicion would be also, right? So the culprit may think they won't get caught. Are you speaking from experience? <laughs> if I say yes, would you let it slide? Yeah, so what you did? <laughs> Hush. Oh, but I'm serious. Prank videos are like their own genre online, you know? People watch that kind of stuff? Oh, yeah. yeah it's all about the chip thrills, Pops. And a good way to make money, too, if you play your cards right. Oh? Uh, the crazier your shtick is, the more views you get. Which means more ad money. Lather, rinse, repeat until you push them just a bit too far. Then you get the nuke and everyone will just go poof. And disappear. Won't stop anyone from doing it all over again, though. Because really, all you need to get started is a camera phone and Wi-Fi. Everything else comes down to timing and luck. You should know a lot about this. Maybe I should bring you in for questioning. Oh, oh no, my manager would kill me. I'm just joking. Anyhow, a high risk, high reward opportunity with a low entry barrier. Sounds like something else. Oh yeah. Anything goes for views. Honestly, it's one of the reasons I'm on a break at the moment. No. Uh, it's a long story. I've been wanting to change the direction of my show for a long time now. What's wrong with it? Well, the views are declining for one. Why? Not enough pranks? Hush. <laughs> no, I haven't done those in a long time. Not that I ever want to get back into it. Anyways, I'm not in a position where I can take that kind of risk yet. Even though I'm totally up for trying something new. Because people don't like change. That's right. Yet, they get bored easily too. Today's good, might be trash tomorrow. So it feels like I'm battling a daily paradox sometimes. Yeah, you make it sound like the continuity of your work depends on the audience's whims, kids. Because it does. I guess you could say that. Why? Pardon? Sorry, I didn't mean to intrude. Even so, I wasn't able to avoid overhearing you. It's alright, I know I'm loud. Can you explain what you mean by why? Do you think the audience is always right? Of course not. Then why place so much emphasis on what they want? Why must you follow their whims? Well, I mean, it all comes down to numbers, right? Chasing views, Lucas. Chasing views. A single opinion might be easy to negotiate with. Maybe even 10 or 100. Still doable. But if to influence the opinion of thousands, millions... Not so easy. So I believe if you can't fight him, join him. Then change things slowly from the inside out. Or you change from within. Hmm. There's no way it can work. No? Why do you think that? My apologies for not providing context. Oh, you don't have to. I was just curious. Considering I intruded, it's only fair. I admit that I'm not a big fan of online activities. I find that people conduct their very loathsome to me. That's a strong word. Two years ago, I uploaded my singing reel online in preparation for my audition as a soprano. A soprano, really? That's cool. Can I see it? I already took it down. No, oh, why? I mean, read the room, Lucas. Why do you think she probably finds people online loathsome? I believe she's getting to it, kid. Yeah. Right, right, okay. It was something made out of necessity. I recorded the Rio using my phone at home, since I have no previous theater experience to show. It was not of the highest quality, I admit. Even so, I did post it to a video site, mainly to add to links to my application. Though I'm not sure if it helped at all, as my attempts have yet to yield the results. Ride. However, one day my application was unexpectedly responded to by an auditioner. 
It was a polite rejection. However, they left me with a curious suggestion. What did they say? They highly recommended that I moderate my video's comment section. So I checked. It was a lot. What happened? The comment section was teeming with plenty of um, strong opinions. If they can even be called that. What? They were a lot of comments telling me to stop screaming and to take my video down because they didn't want to get cursed and die yet. Oh, are you? Okay, so that's why. I think she might be a banshee? What's with that nonsense? Others question my sanity for knowingly spreading bad luck, but yep, she's a banshee. And many others wanted to know who and where my handler was, since there's no such thing as sentience for us banshees. I suppose. Oh, that's real fucked up. That's horrible. Even with the Vindication Act in place, those POS still exist, huh? The Vindication Act? A global treaty that recognizes sentiency and rights of non-sapiens. Sapiens refer to any species that is intelligent and bipedal. Like humans, elves, orcs, gnomes, halflings. You know the type. Huh. Ah, it may look like this, but us Sadias got added pretty late to the game. But don't you feel to fit the bill right away? Yeah, but we're all bored males. And we didn't really have the best reputation either. Yeah, you guys don't. Anyway, it took a while for us to finally get recognized by international law. Since the further you are, the likeness of the main six, the slower the process will be. So I'm sure it's been way harder for you, lady. Our numbers are extremely low. Others being unfamiliar with our existence is not surprising to us. Still, doesn't make it right. But I get it now. You just staying for the internet. I'm impressed you seem very chill about it. Chill? Do I look chill? Um, the light. But how can you be chill? To such blatant disrespect, throw it in your face like that! Okay, and now this is becoming very unchill. It's supposed to be a comfy game, lady. Don't you wonder? What gives them the right to be so vile? Who do they think they are? Pray tell what do they feel when they commit such offensive acts? Do they feel some sort of perverse pleasure from others' suffering? The audacity, I can't, I can't! Oh, I see the anonymity of talking through screens. Have enabled people that come for the disrespecting others. Without suffering a direct hit to their face for it. Oh good, the power went off too. Oh damn it, not again. <laughs> Just, just a second, please. Uh, okay. <laughs> Georgie's just gone. He's like, nope. I'm out of here. Oh, thank goodness. Huh? Oh, he didn't leave. He just moved. <laughs> it's just... Not right. That kind of behavior. It's just not right. I'm sorry. I've gone too far. No, it's it's all right. I mean, I just don't want to wear here. The audience is always right, because that means my dream has run aground before I can even try. How about if I help you? Look, I get what you're going through. As a satire, I have to deal with plenty of numb skulls trying to tear me down just to justify their own inferiority complexes. So I believe me when I tell you this. You've got what it takes to turn the tables around. Now, easy. You gotta sell yourself. <laughs> whoa, whoa, kid, slow down. I might be lax, but I still work for the law. No, Pops, not that kind. Honestly, I don't know much about the office scene, but I know Sirens dominate a huge chunk of the Soprano roles, am I right? Yes. It says that they're made for the role. Exactly. So, this is a case of, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. So no matter what you do or how hard you try, you'll always be an outlier. So if you just can 
compete based on your skills alone. Sorry to say this, but you probably won't make it. Wait, hear me out. You get one awesome thing all those sirens don't have. A story. Story? Yeah. Imagine. A banshee who dreams of becoming a lead soprano. Or wh whatever it is you wish to be on stage. Pursuing her dreams in the midst of all the sirens despite the odds stacked against her. Isn't that a great narrative? But you haven't even heard my singing yet. Have you? Of course, I love to. But honestly, that doesn't matter as much as you think. What? Our goal is to get your story stuck in people's heads first. Most people will just scoff at it because their own dumb assumptions. Which is exactly what we want. And then we'll blow all their expectations away. By putting you on stage. What stage? And how? Don't worry, I have my ways. Anyway, you sing. Everybody will be surprised no matter what. And that's when you get your time to shine. What are you talking about? No. What? Why? I just want a chance to properly sing. To show what I'm made of, regardless of what I am. I know, and I'm offering you a possible way in. No offense, but all of this sounds like you're just... Projecting? It's as if you're just trying to sell a caricature of me. Of course not, no way. And ouch, that kind of hurts a little bit. I'm sorry for being rude. But I don't know you, and you don't know me. So how am I supposed to consider all what you've said, when you don't even know my name? Honestly? If what you've been doing has worked at all, I would have asked for your name already, don't you think? Wow. Hey. I don't know where you're going with that, but I think you went too far, kid. What the hell are you talking about? Oh crap. Hey look, I'm so- The storm seems to be easing up. I'll be taking my leave. Right, um, thank you for coming, Miss... Riona. Miss Riona. We hope to see you again. Our conversation certainly took an odd turn. So let me m make this point. For all the words you spoke earlier, I feel f I feel few were actually intended for me. Take care. And have a safe trip. She's right. He's kind of projecting. He's like in a bit of a funk himself. He's trying to change things, but people aren't vibing with it. So he's just trying to like project his little insecurities right now to her. It's totally right. Um, sorry about all that. I messed up, didn't I? Can't say, kid. This old man is still trying to figure out what just happened. Oh, man. I don't know what came over me, Pops. I get too hyped sometimes. I lose my cool. I'm sorry, just a sec. My manager. The road closure is over, so he's picking me up right now. Oh, that's wonderful. Nice. By the way, do you need a ride, Pops? I can drop you off whenever, no problem. Ah, thanks, kid, but it's alright. I'm sure the cabs will start rolling around soon. You sure? Yep. Alrighty. I guess I'll be seeing you guys around. But thank you for coming, um, we hope to see you again. Yeah. Hey, Falcon. Yeah? No, it's nothing. Okay, then. See you soon, Falcon. Pops. Have a safe trip. Oh, George, it's just me and you. Well, that was a show and a half. <laughs> no kidding. Feels like I'm ready just to call it a day. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I get my cab, I'll get out of your hair, Falcon. Oh, please. You know I didn't mean to die that. Not gonna lie, though. Listening to those two got me thinking for a little bit. About? Me and my youngest daughter, Missy. Maybe it was too hard in it, but I don't know. When you're a parent, decide to choose between supporting your kids' ideas or stopping them from taking things too far. Mm, it's always a fine line of thread for sure. Yep. No. It's the missus. You know what? 
I think I better go. At least if she hears the rain outside, she get less mad at me. Please try not to get sick. Not kidding, but I better go though. You take care on closing, Falcon. Will do. I'll be in a cap soon. Thanks, see ya. And then it was just me. What a day. I better clean up and then... Huh? What's this? Oh, it's, um... Georgie's lighter. Hmm. Someone must have forgotten this. Well, better keep it safe over here. Oh, our inventory. Right. Okay. Now let's wrap this up. Hopefully... You guys did enjoy? If you did, let me know in the comments by leaving a thumbs up. And when the full release rolls by, I would not mind taking a dive into that then. As I mentioned, absolutely very chill. The music's great. The look is great. Atmosphere is great. And interesting little conversations as well. But more importantly, let the algorithm know that you'd still like to continue seeing more of my content in your feeds recently. As I've mentioned, a lot of you guys recently have mentioned that you're actually seeing my videos again, which is a great thing. You guys subscribe to the videos so you actually get them in your feed. What a novel concept, right? So let the algorithm know you are enjoying it by leaving a thumbs up and a comment if you may. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.